Hello fire signs, Aries, Sag, Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. Thank you for popping over to my channel. I really do appreciate you being here with me. If you'd like a private reading, please feel free to be in touch. Otherwise, we'll give the cards a shuffle and see um, what comes up for you for this upcoming week. Um, what are the messages for you? Okay, so there's news coming about a situation, which is fantastic. I feel like with the judgment call, there is potentially a scenario here where there's judgment that has been laid out. Um, for the most part, I think it is positive judgment, but I feel like there's something about something that's happened too quickly. Now, your mind could be completely in overdrive because you've been anticipating something here. And your thoughts have been racing and you've been thinking and maybe you've been acting more swiftly than usual around a scenario, especially a romantic scenario. You can see the Knight of Swords ventures towards the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant is Taurus energy. Um, Taurus energy is romantic energy. The Hierophant rules anything to do with like marriage and relationship status and being traditional. So I feel like... Um, you're racing towards something traditional in a relationship or maybe you're racing towards some sort of milestone. Now, you've maybe recently made a judgment about a person or a connection and you're standing by that judgment, fire signs. You're proud of it. You believe in it. You want to stand by it. You want to stand by the thoughts that you've got going on in your mind. And that's all good and well because I feel it's very beautiful. It's beautiful in the sense that you have the Nine of Cups, which is a wish card. And this is really beautiful. It's the dream card. It's about things coming true. It's about our desires being met. So I feel like someone wants to fulfill a wish. Now, it could also be that you are the one that want to fulfill a wish for someone else. The Six of Cups makes me feel like something's in its early stages here. Um, it can symbolize the past, a past life connection that may be coming up around you. And I feel like with the Six of Cups... There's a lot of children here, but children are good. It points to like a vulnerability, maybe even a lesson that needs to be learned for you this week. Um, and it could be around racing ahead, okay? It could be around racing ahead and not supporting each other. It's almost like you might come to a place in your relationship or a place in your mind where you're thinking, well, hang on a minute. Do I, do I want this? Or... You know, am I getting the support I need? There is potentially an issue around support because the Three of Cups, sorry, Pentacles is reversed. And when it's upright, it's it's compromises, being able to communicate, talk to each other, meet each other, see each other face to face. This is reversed, so you're not potentially getting those opportunities um, because of one reason or another. You can't see eye to eye or you're not getting the support that you need. Or there's the compromise. You're not meeting each other halfway. Uh, one of you is racing ahead and fulfilling the wishes of the other person. But one of you is getting left behind. And I feel like it could be your person more than you, fire signs. I feel like you're coming up in a fairly good position. I feel like the judgment call, the ball is in your court. And you've got more power in this relationship. In a sense where it appears right now at this stage, your person appears to be more invested than you are. You might be rushing to get to like change the relationship status and do all those wonderful traditional things. Um, but I feel like you're still in a child stage. You're still in the early stages. Um, and this is baby steps, which contradicts between the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is not baby steps. He wants things yesterday. Six of Cups can wait. They're good. You know, they're not in a rush. So it's a very push and pull kind of energy. Sometimes things are moving really quickly. And you can keep up and you're happy with that progress. Other times things are moving slowly and you're also happy with that. So there's things here that are sort of jumping around a little bit. And you might not necessarily be doing things in order or you might not necessarily be doing things how you thought you'd be doing them. Okay, maybe you thought you'd get married first before you have a baby or you thought you'd travel before you met the one or you thought you'd be more independent before you started looking for someone or you intended to be single for a while. You know, you had some sort of picture in your mind about how things would go down, um, how you'd react to things and, okay, yeah, I saw myself there and this is what I sort of had pictured and it might not be what's happened. 
because I feel like there's big news of some kind with the judgment card. Someone's got some big news to share with you or about you. Vice versa, you've got some big news to share about yourself or about another person or about a connection you're in. But a part of you could be holding back because one of you, uh, some of you, I feel like you want to share the news and you want to be exclusive in a connection, but you're holding back because you're not feeling the support and you're still wondering if you're ever going to get it. Um, it could be a message here that you need to be patient. The Hierophant is known to be stubborn. So someone's very stubborn or set in their ways, traditionally speaking. And you might feel like they're always going to be this way. They're never going to change or never be able to change their mind. People change. People adapt People grow. People's desires, wants, needs, they change. They evolve. Um, they're transformed. And I think just because something might not be happening now, it doesn't mean it won't happen soon or in the future, especially anything to do with romance. The Hierophant, it's a bit of a sit, watch, and wait. So I feel like some of you have to just sort of sit there and hang tight. As much as that Knight of Swords is trying to push you forward and trying to get you, just do it. Um... Rip it off like a band-aid. You know, that's how you've been taught. It's, it's embedded in your nature. But in this instant, it might be best for you to sort of sit, watch, and wait and see how things play out from there. Because I think, I think there's something that's worth waiting for here. And the announcement that you so want to do or share or you want that person to make, you know, maybe you're waiting on them to propose and you, you've been waiting on that announcement. It is coming because the Nine of Cups is here and that does promise fulfillment. So there is something that, that will be fulfilled and it is a big wish of yours. And, you know, you might not have to stress about it right now. It just could mean you might need to wait a few, a, a few more days.